Hello lads, it's Sammy Benny back again with another video and in today's video we are in a different game as you can see. This is a new One Piece game which is called Glue Piece. Now this is a not so, I mean it is a very powerful, uh, not powerful, it's a very popular game at the moment. I I don't know how it got so popular, like I just checked the, just checked the front page and I see this game out of nowhere. This is a, a game that really skyrocketed into the into the into popularity you know so of course i'm gonna get of course i'm gonna get on this because if you if you're an og you know that my channel was originally just one piece games on roblox when one piece games was very popular on roblox that's when i was recording a lot we're back on our origins so to say my first video on this game will probably be about showcasing all the different fruits currently in this game uh there might oh not might there will be new fr fruits in the future and those fruits that are in the future will not be included into, vi into this video because <laughs> i can't show kiss them because they haven't been made yet simple as that and there are like 16 or 17 fruits in this game already which is a very good start for a one piece game uh, but they don't have many moves but uh, that's besides the point there's just a lot of fruits it, i think all of them have like four or five moves something like that either way let me showcase them so yeah let's get started we're gonna first begin with the the, the most common ones i guess because all the fruits have a rarity we're gonna begin with the common ones and then we we'll move on to the rare ones at the end hopefully you like this uh, video Okay, so we're gonna begin with the Suki Suki no Mi, the worst fruit in this game. Only move it has is one move, which is boom. Oh, can't. Oh, there we go. You have to press F, not E. I thought it was E. You have to press F. There we go. So what this does, it makes you invisible to both NPCs and players. You look at these NPCs; they're not chasing me. Nah, -uh. and if I go attack them, I think I think it'll be pretty good. Yep, they can't. They don't notice me. Huh? That's basically the the move. I don't know how long it lasts. I think it disappears on its own when the cooldown is back. So let's just uh, wait and see. Oh, never mind. I'm back. So it goes back on the 10 second cooldown mark. That's not. That's not. That's not too good, I guess. Well, that was it for the Suki Suki no Mi. Let's move on to the next one. Next fruit we're talking about is the gum gum fruit or the rubber fruity, whatever you want to call it. So this one is kind of weird. It deals very little damage, extremely little damage. I have the same stats I have in my other fruits and I basically one shot all these plants, but I can't one shot with... Uh... Wow, I missed. This is the first move by the way. It's a gun pistol. Look at that. I can't even one shot him. This is embarrassing. Really embarrassing. Wait for turn on hockey. Does that work? Can't even, I can't even one shot. The first move is very fa fast cooldown, but it's pretty chance. You can barely hit with this one because it goes, it works very differently. You like spawn arm around you. That just makes sense. And we have the second move, which is a gutling. This is more accurate, I guess. You just press this and you spawn on a bunch of fists. And you can basically spam this one because the cooldown goes straight back to regular one. And we have this uh, third move, which is bazooka. Boom. I missed, of course. Try again. Boom. This one one shots. This for sure one shots. It's so hard to hit, bro. And now, yeah, there we go, he's dead. And now we have an activation move, which gives us gear second. This takes so much stamina, I have to hurry. This is E, bum, first move, second move, bum, 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 very cool, very cool. And third move, <laughs> there we go. That's that. Yeah, as you can see, the, 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 the gear second takes so much stamina. It's just crazy. This route is literally garbage. Next to garbage, so to say. It's pretty much next to garbage. That was rubber. Never touching that again. Next up is the Ito Ito no Mi, or the stringy fruit. So the first move is like a submachine gun of strings. It's just a bunch of bullets, press E, and you just shoot all the strings. The goal on this thing is very low, so you can almost practically spam it, which is pretty cool. The second move is a, like, it's just a singular string bullet, but this one stuns them. But since I one-shot them, I can't really show that, but it stuns them. And we have the third move, which is a bunch of clones. You spawn a bunch of string clones. But these are practically useless if you... Oh my gosh, these are practically useless if you don't have any combat uh, points. I have zero in combat, so they deal no damage. I'm pretty sure they scale on combat. Then we have the last move, which is a mobility move. You press F and you swing yourself forward like Spider-Man or, of course, Doflamingo catching the clouds and, 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 and go around. This is a very good mobility move, actually, when I think about it. Yes, that was a string root. Next up is the smoke, smoke, fruit. Now this fruit, I haven't tested it out much, so I'm not sure, but you got you got three moves, that's for sure. First move is like a ranged punch, with the big punch, so it's gonna be difficult to miss that. Next move is a aura, it's called smoke aura, you press this and you like deal AoE damage around you, so if you're being chased by somebody, you can just use that, but the thing is, this barely lasts anything, and the cooldown of this thing is so big, so yeah. That's pretty bad. And then we have the last move, which is mobility move. You press F. Well, actually, you hold F, my bad. I kind of messed it up. Whoops. There we go. 
you hold F, boom, and then you fly around in a smoke form. Now this takes also a lot of stamina, and why did I just go out of it? That was not intentional. You can fly further on, I don't know why I got out of it, but yeah, that was a smoke, smoke, fruit. Alright, so next fruit is the Guru Guru no Mi, or the lightning uh, fruity. First move is a, let me remember, oh yeah, it's uh, the big uh, L Thor, that's what it's called. It's like a gigantic lightning strike from above, press E and boom. It's a big ass cylinder just falling down. Yeah, that's that. The coolness thing is so low, it's pretty pretty cool. But I, it's also mouse symbol, so you can just farm this, I think. But uh, I don't think it's that range, let me check. Let's try to kill that one slime in the distance over there, which is just sitting about. But... Okay, so it's not that ranged. The second move is a like an electrical wave, I guess. You press R and just shoot a lot of electricity somewhere. And this thing is the cool. This thing is so low, you can actually spam this. Pretty pretty cool. If you're high level, you can actually farm people easily or NPCs. Depends. The third move is actually the ultimate move, which is uh, a gigantic uh, sphere of lightning. Well, not gigantic, but. I think you can hold this actually. It looks like you can hold this. Let me try holding this. Okay, let's try holding it this time. Hold up. There we go. Oh yes, holding it definitely works. Yep, okay. So you can hold this thing. How's that? And then we have the mobility move, which is a teleport. You teleport to where your mouse location is. It doesn't go really far, but the coolness thing is so low. It doesn't matter. It's very, very cool. Yeah, that was the Guru Guru no Mi. Alright, the next fruit we have is the Mera Mera no Mi, or the fire fruit. Flame fruit, flare fruit, whatever you want to call it. So you got three combat moves and one mobility move. But two of the combat moves are exactly the same. If you press E, you send like a ball, which explodes in impact. That's the first move. The coolness thing is very short, so you can practically spam that. Uh, second move is basically the same, but just larger AOE, I guess. Oh, I missed it. Well, I didn't miss it, but you didn't see it. It's basically fire fist, because it's a it's a fist model. I missed again, Jesus. The hitbox in this thing is pretty large. Let me go up, up in here and use it. But there we go. And boom gone he is and then the last uh, not last but the third move is the burning the big boy sun the burning sun it this takes so long to charge then it takes so long to land but i uh, the aoe in this thing is large so uh, maybe the damage is also pretty good so yeah that might make up for it then we have the last mobility move which is basically the same as smoke flight if you saw that you hold f and then you fly away a little bit and takes a lot of stamina and it goes pretty pretty slow compared to the other flights so yeah that was it for mera or flame, whatever you want to call it. The next fruit we're going to cover is the Oppo Oppo no Mi, or the Operation Fruity. Now this fruit is actually quite weird. It uh, It's kind of buggy, in my opinion, because sometimes the moves work and sometimes it doesn't. And I'll, I'll just show you, okay? So the first move is, of course, uh, a room. So I'm just wait until I get back. There we go. Press E. And then the room expands. And then in this move, you can use your moves. If you don't have this room, you can't use your moves. Now the first move... Uh, I mean, the second move is a teleport, not teleport, like a stun move, so it you only attacks the closest person to you, so if you press R, you, like, you go towards, teleport towards them, so to say, and you deal, like, a, you deal damage to them, a stun damage, oh, and the room is gone. Yeah, as you can see, this takes a lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot of slow stamina, so I'm just reset the character to show you down the moves. You saw the first move, there we go, the second move is a stun. And the third move is the heart grab, you just press T and you have a heart in your inventory, click it, and they, I don't know how if they die instantly, but uh, they take a lot of health, I guess. And then the last move is a teleport, or switch place. You press F and you switch place with the closest person to you. None of these moves are... Uh, you can't really select who you want to switch with. You should only switch with the ones you're closest to. So that's kind of weird. You should, it, should be, it should be mouse detection instead of uh, proximity, but I guess that's that. Well, that was the Opa Opa no Mi. Now, we will go over Gura, Gura no Mi. Or also known as the Quake Fruity, which is what's it called in this game, yes. So the Quake Fruit has four moves. The first move is a very close range move. You press E and then you do like a, a punch ahead of you. It's pretty short range, but it's the most it's the most powerful move you have in your arsenal. So yeah, it's very, very, very good uh, to deal with like uh, boss and boss NPCs that doesn't teleport, like King Slime, for example. He's the this is the best example to use on him. Just get him in close by and, and you you swipe and he's dead. The next move, the second move, is a AOE slam, and you send all the NPCs close to you up in the air. So if you press that, boom. They, they, they actually go up in the air, but I see inside one shot them. You can't really see that, but yeah. It's a very low cooldown move as well, which is pretty good. The third move is... It's kind of like the first move, like a, like a swipe, but just long-ranged. Deals less damage. Oh, you didn't see the animation there, but I'm, let me just do it again. It got 9 second cooldown, which is... Eh, it's okay. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's pretty close range. Deals okay damage. There we go. 
practically the same as the first move, but just long range. Uh, not long range, but like longer <laughs> range. And we have the last move, which is the ultimate. This is the best move in farming, I believe. Uh, in my opinion, at least, because I've been using this for farming a lot. If you press F, you send two waves crashing down. And the waves just hit every NPC. And when since the NPC spawn fast uh, back again, you kill them twice. Like, you kill them two times. So if you want to clear an island easily, and if you're high, no high enough level to do it, you just use this move. And you can easily get levels fast. Thing is, the, this has a cooldown of 30 seconds, which is a lot, so you can't really spam this. But it's very good to AFK farm. This is exceptionally good in AFK farming, so yeah. That might be a method for another video, who knows? Hmm? Either way, that was uh, the Quakey Fruit, or Gura Gura no Mi. Alright, next fruit up is the Pika Pika no Mi, or the Light Fruity. Now, this fruit is kind of weird. Because it has three moves and one mobility move, but... It works kind of like it's kind of choppy if you get what I mean. It's like it's not really satisfying to look at or use, but uh, well, let me, let me just let me show you. The first move E is basically a teleport. You teleport uh, while you do an, an attack. So if you press E, boom, there we go. Teleport to him and then I do a like a, not a slam but like a kick. I do a light kick. The cool in this move is very short, so it's pretty pretty good. But you can also use it very far, so that's pretty good as well. Next move is a basically a light. Uh, light laser, sorry. So you press R and you shoot a laser. But the range on this thing is so low, so you have to be really close to use it. Let me just use it again. Bah, there we go. He did. Then we have the third move, which is actually the ultimate move. You press T, and it didn't work. Great. And let's try it again. We press T. There we go. We turn into jewel, and then we just shoot our lasers. Bam, 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 bam. And it's, the hitbox in this thing is so garbage so hard to hit with this one so that's a very bad move so yeah and then we have the last move which is actually a mobility move it's a peak of flight so to say you fly hold f you can fly around but the thing is this is like it goes like it teleports and then it stops and then teleports again so this is a very weird flight it's very slow as well you would much better rather be better on the boat and this takes too much stamina so i'm not going to use this ever so yeah that was pika for you and now we have the phoenix fruit Phoenix Root is actually might be, maybe the best in boss killing because of one thing, and I'll show you soon. But the first move we have is like some kind of like weird, weird laser circus-ish move. You press E and you shoot a bunch of these pew pew pews, you know? These pew pews. Second move is a dash. You dash and you deal damage as well. So this is actually a very good way of damaging uh, people. You just uh, rush them down and then poof dash towards them and they're probably they're probably taking a lot of damage or dead for that matter then we have a second move i'm just gonna take some damage but these lads kind of slow it let me actually go to a boss and i'll show you all right let's take some damage from this boss come on teleport to me there we go okay almost there you can see we're down now i don't want to die okay one more hit there we go we're done jump in water there we go now this the, the third move is a healing move you press t and you heal yourself and the people around you and this move is so busted because as you can see there almost from being around like 20% I healed almost to 50 and you, you can actually the cool on this thing is 10 seconds you can practically spam this there we go almost full health so yeah this is a pretty busted move this is the move that can clear out bosses easily mid fights so yeah you should not be worried you should not be worrying about that now the last move is a mobility move you hold F you develop wings and you can well, you develop some weird wings but you can fly around this is not really that fast, but it's pretty, pretty practical if you don't have Gepo or anything else. But this takes a lot of stamina, so yeah, just be be, be cautious of that. But that was the Phoenix Fruit. Next fruit is the Ice Ice Fruit, or the Hie, Hie no Mi thingy. Yes. So the first move is an Ice Phoenix. This is pretty ranged, so I just use that. And I didn't even see what happened. I just saw two lines. What was that? Let me just let me try one more. One more time. One more time. But Oh, it goes pretty fast. Okay. Yeah, so that's Ice Phoenix. Pretty good move. I think it also freezes players or NPCs, but I just one-shot them, so it doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, it freezes them. So in turn, yes, you see, makes them stuck. Next move is a big AoE ice move. Press R, and you send this uh, ice thingy around you. I don't know if you can hold this. Pretty sure you can't. But oh yeah, as you can see, if people come back to it, they die again. So I guess it's repeated damage. It's pretty cool. This also freezes them or stuns them, if I should rather say that. Next move is Ice Age. You would think Ice Age is an AoE move, like around you, but it, it's actually just a glacier move. So you press T, you send this upwards. I don't know why people called it Ice Age. Some people call this move Ice Age. That doesn't make any sense. This should rather be Ice Age, but 
it's yeah it's not but yeah the, the t move that was pretty i think that was the no that's not the last move that was the, that was the third move but this is pretty good i guess i think it also freezes if i'm not mistaken i'm pretty sure all of them freezes then you have the last move which is uh, ice feet press f then you have ice feet so, so to say you can run around on the water can't uh, you don't fall in the water that's for sure but this takes a lot of stamina this takes some stamina, so I don't see why you would use this. This is slower than boats, much slower than boats. I guess you could use some, you could use this in combat, but uh, I wouldn't really do it myself. That sounds like a waste of stamina, in my opinion. But yeah, that was the ice ice fruit. Now we're on the dark dark fruit, or I mean yummy dark yummy dark. Yes, this fruit is considered one of the best in PvP. I think, if I remember correctly, I don't know. Don't quote me on that. I'm kind of new to this game, but I just see I just heard some people think this is a very good PvP fruit. I kind of see why. If you hold not hold, if you press E somewhere on the ground, you spawn like a vortex. This actually makes people stuck, I believe, or you or you, you suck them into the middle of the vortex. I'm not entirely sure what it does because I kind of one hit these lads and I don't want to test some stronger NPCs. So I might die. Next move is like a small bomb, so to say. You press R, and you send up a small bomb and where you click. This is pretty good, but it knocks back a lot, I think, doesn't it? Pretty sure it does. Oh no, I think it drags people to you. Let me see. Oh, I can't really show it, but uh, I'm pretty sure it drags people to you if you press to use this move. And it's pretty low cooldown. You can send it far away. It's pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, next move is a move you have to click on somebody. You can't use it on the floor because then it won't work you have to click on somebody so press t on somebody oh oh wait oh i guess it's the closest player then the closest lad will get in will like get them um, what's it called trapped inside a dark ball oh jesus oh i'm dead like i said the closest person press t boom oh it's multiple people cool gotcha gotcha it's multiple people didn't know that <laughs> so yes you trapped them in and they basically stuck there for a small one. You can kind of combo them after that. Do this and this, and they're pretty much probably dead. Who knows? Because this fruit is an ultimate stun move. Next up is the ultimate. If you hold F, or I don't think you need to hold it. You can just press it, and it will just automatically charge up. Uh, it sends people flying up to this thing. I'm pretty sure they can kind of get stuck inside it, and then you, when you when it explodes, it launches people away. Pretty sure that that's what it does. Oh, talk about launching away. I'm gone. Yeah, that was the that was the dark, dark fruit. All right, next fruit is the military fruit uh, or military no me. This is actually a custom fruit, I think. So this is not in the series. Pretty sure. I don't know. I haven't seen this. I don't know. You could spawn guns as a fruit. Anyway, first move is a pistol. You press E. Boom. And you shoot the pistol. This thing is very hard and hit. Hard to hit on moving targets. So yeah. But uh it's pretty good, I think. Deals a lot of damage, probably, and has short cooldown. Uh, oh, it doesn't really reach that far, I guess. Let me see, try again. But Okay, it reached further than I anticipated. Okay, that's pretty good. Next move is a close range move. You press... Uh, hold up, let me, let me press R. Spend a bunch of uh, grenades, and I think they deal a lot of damage, I don't know. But uh, this doesn't seem like a good move, because uh, when you're on the move... I mean, you can actually get chases off you. That's kind of good, I guess. Yes, okay. Then we have the last move, which is a bazooka. You press a bazooka. Oh, wait, that's the grenades. You press a T. You just blast a bazooka. Boom. And the AOE in this thing is so huge. It's very, very OP. Indeed. Okay, that was it for the military fruit. All right, so the next fruit we have is the Magu Magu no Mi, or the Magma fruit. Special shout out to Foamy Sink. This man's right there, the banana. He actually gave me this one because... Uh, I was kind of lucky and I didn't get it from the spins. Thank you so much. Now let's use it. So the first move is like Magma Fist, I'm pretty sure. You just shoot it and then it explodes. The AoE is, no, the AoE is pretty big and the hitbox is pretty big. So it's going to be hard to aim uh, sometimes. But usually it works. Then we have the second move, which is the Love Explosions, I think. This one is pretty damn OP, especially in PvP. Because uh, you can basically just mouse aim it. But you need to be close by to use it. Because it's not that range. But this barely has any cooldowns to it. Like when, since I just use it. It's just 4 seconds left. And I can use it again. So it's pretty pretty OP like that. The third move is an ultimate for the magma. It's basically the magma rain. So to say. This goes where your mouse is aiming. I'm pretty sure. I think. Yeah, it, it looked like it. Or was it just ahead of you? Maybe it was where it dropped. But it also drops lava puddles. I think that damages as well. Because this guy just died for some reason. I don't know where. So I think the lava puddles damage. Try it one more time. If it follows the mouse. Yes, it follows the mouse. Okay, that's pretty cool. And yes, the lava puddles also damage. Gotcha, gotcha. 
The last move is a mobility move, hold death, and then you just fly around. It's basically the same as mirror flight. It's also slow as mirror flight. And it takes a lot of stamina and for some reason just gets out of it for no reason. Because I think you can fly infinitely with it. But for some reason I just get out of it. It's kind of weird. But yes. That was the magma fruit or magro magro no mi. Alright next fruit is the mochi mochi fruit. Or the do, do fruit. Do fruity. Mochi fruity. I think that's what it's called. This fruit is actually quite busted. But it only has three moves for some reason. Two combat moves and one mobility move. If you hold E. You basically spawn a bunch of fists. And I think the range is unlimited, or well, not unlimited, but pretty damn far away. Oh, maybe not so far away, but uh, this one is very busted in boss killings, because it makes them stuck in place when you use them. Yes, you heard me, it makes them stuck in place. So when you use uh, this barrage on somebody, they can't really move out of it. The only way you can get off is teleport like this, that's the only way to get out. But with bosses, they can't really get out unless they use teleport moves themselves. So you can actually spam this on somebody. And they will not be able to move. If they don't have Soru or the bosses don't have any teleportation moves. Yeah, this is pretty busted move. Very busted. And equivalent is, is equivalent is so low. But the main problem is the stamina. This takes too much stamina. Second move is a like a gigantic bazooka of two gigantic fists. This deals a lot, a lot of damage. I'm not sure if it stuns or not. I think it knocks back. And, and I, I don't know. I don't, I don't actually know. I don't think it knocks back. People have been using on me and I didn't get knocked back. So it's just it's a, just a gigantic punch, so to say. It's very, like, extra damage, so to say. Yeah. And the third move, final move, is a mobility move. You can, it's, this is, the, this is the, the wheel. The Muchi wheel. But this can also be traveled upon water. You don't take damage when you go in water, which is pretty good. I think this is kind of faster than some boats. I think the game pass boat is a little bit faster. The striker boat is maybe a little bit faster. And I, I don't think this damages. No, it doesn't damage. Right. Yes, that was that for Muchi. Then the final fruit that I'm gonna showcase, I think, depending on the order. I think this is the final fruit. This is the bone, bone fruit. This is basically Sans fruit. Uh, because if I think if you defeat the boss, Sans, you, there's a slight chance you get the fruit. I'm not sure how it fully works, but yeah, the bone, bone fruit. Shout out to man himself robot waffle dog that's a pretty weird name but i like it he was kind enough to give me the bone fruit because i just i couldn't i wasn't just i wasn't lucky i just basically wasn't lucky i didn't i never got it almost well actually no i never got it <laughs> i was just very unlucky so yeah uh, thank you so much mr robot waffle dog robot waffle dog i almost said god but it's dog this one it's actually pretty cool. It's kind of slow in the first stage, but you got four moves. You got two combat moves, one transformation, and one mobility. So we'll go over that. So the first combat move, press E, and you spawn the, the bones. But the quality is pretty low. But the thing is, if they're moving, it's pretty much impossible to hit this one. So you have to debate somebody with you, place them behind you, and then you can kill them like that. Next move is a gaster blaster. You press R on something and the gas blaster just teleports out of nowhere and just shoots a laser. It's pretty damn OP because it can instant pop. Almost no way of uh, knowing when to use it. And then we have the transformation, which is a bad time transformation. Press D. You get this uh, effect on you. Pretty good effect. Now you can practically spam E. Well, not spam E, but when you use it, you spawn multiple of it. That makes sense. You just have to aim with the mouse. There we go. When you press R, you also spam it kind of. Just press it once. You send a bunch of these things. Pretty, pretty cool indeed. This is a really OP transformation. I'm not sure if it's very good for PvP. I guess it can be good for PvP. Now the final move is a mobility move. Hold F. Then you fly around on a gaster blaster. Pretty cool. I don't know how, how far it goes. But it's pretty fast actually. It's much faster than Mera and Magu ones I'm pretty sure. So yeah. It's a f uh, fast flight, I would say. Yeah, that was the bone bone fruit. And I guess that was all the fruits. Now it's currently all the fruits that are in game. And there are probably new fruits in the future. But for now, these are the ones I'm going to cover in this video. I thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, of course, drop the thumbs up. If you want me to do more Gloopies videos, I might do more. Not sure. Just hit the like button to see if you support it. Just type also in comments to just be more sure that you like it. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in a later video. Peace.